tooth mobility why does the tooth become loose tooth mobility refers to movement of the tooth it can either be physiologic or abnormal physiologic mobility occurs in health or without any underlying pathologic condition the tooth can move 0.2 mm horizontally and 0.02 mm vertically physiologic mobility is seen to be more in the morning due to slight extrusion and limited occlusal contact during sleep the physiologic mobility decreases as the day progresses due to swallowing and chewing that intrudes the tooth physiologic mobility is seen more in single rooted tooth compared to the multi rooted tooth so there are different stages of physiologic tooth mobility initial or the intra socket stage in this the tooth moves within the socket limited to the width of the periodontal ligament there is viscoelastic distortion of the periodontal ligament which results in redistribution of the periodontal fluids interbundle content and other interstitial fibers in the second stage when there is increase in the horizontal forces there is deformation of the alveolar bone when a force of 500 grams is applied on the tooth the incisors move about 100 to 200 microns canines move about 50 to 90 microns premolars move about 8 to 10 microns and molars move about 40 to 80 microns when a force is applied to the teeth in occlusion and it is discontinued the tooth returns to original position in two stages the first stage is the immediate recoil or elastic recoil phase which is a spring like action the second is a slow asymptomatic recovery movement there is recovery in the form of pulsation movement that is associated with the normal pulsation of the periodontal vessels there is a general rule to measure the tooth mobility hold the tooth firmly between the handles of two rigid instruments or you could also hold it with one rigid instrument and one finger so the technique is to move the tooth in all direction and if there is abnormal tooth mobility you will see facial lingual pattern of tooth movement mobility can be graded based on the tooth mobility index given by s c miller in 1950 in this index number 1 refers to first distinguishable sign of tooth movement that is greater than normal 2 refers to movement of 1 mm from its normal position in any direction and 3 refers to movement of more than 1 mm in any direction tooth mobility beyond the physiologic range is termed as abnormal or pathologic there are different causes of tooth mobility but they can be grouped into main etiological factors like attachment loss occlusal trauma and periodontal inflammation so let's have a look at individual factors that are responsible for tooth mobility bone loss around root surface increased severity and distribution of bone loss around tooth can lead to increased tooth mobility for the same amount of bone loss a short tapered roots will have more movement compared to normal size roots trauma from occlusion excessive occlusal forces especially during bruxism and clenching can lead to increased tooth mobility this occurs due to resorption of the inner cortical layer of bone and reduced fiber support there is widening of the periodontal ligament space that can lead to increased tooth mobility spread of inflammation inflammation can spread from the gingiva to the periodontal ligament or from the periapex area to the periodontal ligament in case of periapical abscesses so this leads to increased tooth mobility periodontal surgery mainly the resective osseous surgery can temporarily cause increased tooth mobility fluctuations in hormone level in pregnancy menstrual cycle and hormonal contraceptive consumption can lead to increased tooth mobility due to physiochemical changes in periodontal ligament pathologies of the jaw can lead to destruction of the alveolar bone and resorption of the root this is seen mainly in osteomyelitis or tumors of the jaw that leads to increased tooth mobility so to summarize tooth movement is called as tooth mobility that can be physiologic or abnormal physiologic mobility is more in the morning decreases as the day progresses and occurs in two stage intra socket where there is viscoelastic distortion of the periodontal ligament and second stage where there is deformation of the alveolar bone abnormal tooth mobility can be due to attachment loss occlusal trauma and periodontal inflammation however there could be several other factors that contribute to these three factors
Mobility can be graded based on the tooth mobility index given by S.C. Miller in 1950. You can find link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it and if you did, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and hit the notification bell for update on new videos.